Interesting. Although I do have one question about that. Why is it that Simon's the only one? Like, are there more of them? There must be more legacy scans. I mean, Simon shouldn't be the only one. I actually know it would make sense. Because Moon Chi said Simon was his first. And then Simon died a month later. So there's no way in hell they'd pull this shit with anybody else. Okay, makes sense now. See, plot holes can be, can be filled and all you gotta do is think a little bit. where I would store the ARC scans. Are they similar to my legacy file? No, yours is flatter, if that makes sense, less dynamic. Thanks. That makes me feel much better. Damaged. memory chip. If we're lucky, we might be able to extract the cipher from it. <sighs> oh, that's right. We don't actually need anybody because we have the scans. But no, no dice. People. There we go. See if there's anyone who could know a security cipher. Hmm. Security cipher, huh? Help. She said help Dell delivering New York. Security cipher. Stormer has Titan. He's killed himself because the country of Stormer is really mad Titan security. Well, I see the word security on Mark. Strawmare now, with a fucking cunning duty suicide. Helmet, I think a post can hangover. Maybe Mark? No, it won't work. We need someone from Theta Security Group. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see, so in. Data security group. Bench four, compressed neurograph. Security people at Kronstadt or Stromeyer. Actually. Very promising. I'll just load him up and get the simulator going. Wait. There we are. What are we doing exactly? We're gonna have a talk with Mr. Wan. Use the computer to activate the simulation. 
Okay. That wasn't so bad. This robot really got me worked up, bastard. What? What happened? Where did everyone go? Take it easy, Mr. Wong. Chun? What happened? I, I can't see anything. There's nothing here. It's okay. It's all a part of the scam. No, no, that, that's a lie. You're lying. Mr. Wan, I need you to stay calm. No, 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 no. Why, why are you doing this to me? I trusted you, Chun. I trusted you! Wait! Simon, you just reset the simulation. Shouldn't I... Was that not the right thing to do? You! Did we just bring that guy to life? I mean, he's a perfect scan, meant for the Ark. He's the real deal. And we turned him off. Took it all away again. I really thought that was going to work. Maybe we can try again. What the fuck else can we do? Keep him alive until we've got the cipher. The longer he's exposed to the computer model, the more he'll get hung up on it. So, what's wrong with letting him settle in a little? It would drive him insane. So let's keep the session short and the suffering to a minimum. That wasn't so bad. This robot really got me worked up. Bastard. What? What is this? Where am I? Everything is okay, Mr. Wong. Just relax. Dr. Chun? What the hell is this place? I need your help. I have to get the new security cipher. Why are you doing this? Is this some trick? I'm not giving you anything. Please, we really need that cipher. No, you're lying. This is all a lie. Look at this place. It's a fucking joke. Get me out of here, Chun, or I'll punch your teeth in! I think we need to build the scene so it's more what he'd expect. As soon as he starts to doubt, we've lost him. You're right, we need to think this through. We need some more data. Well, shit.
up, bastard. What? Where did you... Alice? Mr. Wan, can you hear me? Chun? Where's Alice? She had to leave. Listen, I really need to know the new security cipher. What? Why? Why would you need that? This is the trick. No, it's okay, I promise. I knew you couldn't be trusted. None of this is real. But you won't break me, Wow. You hear me? You won't break me! How many times are we gonna have to do this? Come on, Simon. Don't give up now. Well, for the time being, for the time being, that puzzle is going nowhere. So, I'm going to take a different approach. Now, I feel like this is a break room type area of sorts. Piece of shit. These are rooms. I wish I knew Brandon better. Here we go, Brandon Wan's room. I'll just override the lock for you. Thank you. If we get to know him, maybe we can make the simulation a little smoother. That's what I was thinking. <clears throat> Brandon, you ready to go? Strohmeyer says it's time to move. I'm waiting for Strasky and Alvaro to pack up their stuff. Head downstairs, I'll meet you there. Don't take too long. Don't worry, we're right behind you. Seems like they were getting ready to leave. Heard some lady telling Brandon to hurry up. You got that from the intercom? Must be a transmission buffer. Hang on. That's Alice Coster. Wouldn't have guessed they even knew of each other. Interesting. Cute. Akers finally agreed to evacuate Delta. Goya, Cryer, and, and I moved into Fade today. Akers said he'd stick around for a while longer. That crazy bastard. I take pride in my work, but goddamn, that place is miserable since the surface stopped setting reports. Did my arc scan together Seems with Alice? Seems like Alice and Brandon did their scans together. Oh, yeah. we can definitely use that. I think we got this, Simon. I can synthesize Alice's voice from the intercom and use it to impersonate her for the simulation. We can trick him into feeling safe enough to open up. Yeah, hey, but hold up. Definitely feeling good about this. Hold Good up, never know we could do more. I didn't know you could data mine. What's it like? It's just something that I do now. So it comes naturally to you. That's really interesting. Yeah, I'll make sure to add it to my dating profile. <laughs> Strollmeyer told me that the hangover would basically kill me. Such an asshole. It was fine at first, but I've got a splitting headache of a couple of hours later. The biggest pain was that Chun girl. She's so fucking uncomfortable at all times it makes my skin crawl. Strahmeyer went ballistic and shut down all feature scans for the ARC project. Apparently Conrad wandered in on the continuity and just fried himself right in the pilot seat of the scan. Something tells me we'll be getting new security ciphers. Just heard that whatever survey team is going to Delta and pick up Akers. He's been alone for months now. Can't imagine what he's been up to. Hmm. Well, Brandon did not like you, I can tell you that. module that we can use. So she'll be with Brandon in the simulation. Sort of. I'll still need to do the talking, but it'll sound and look like Alice. Good. That's something. I've been on this puzzle for a long time. Stories. I guess I had it coming. About Strohmeyer. 
He said he needed a new cipher ASAP. What should I tell him? It's all right. I can talk to him. Wait. Didn't Sean just tell you to take it easy? Don't worry, I'm not going to tell anyone. I do feel hungover. Okay. It's 1729 over 42, 12 over 407. Got it? Yeah, I got it. I'm sorry, Mr. Duong. Brandon. Goodbye. What do you mean? No, wait. That's enough. We got what we need. Is that what we are? Simulations? Yes. Yeah, but it shouldn't make any difference. You're still a you. I'm not sure what to do with the data. You decide. Oh, that's it? Huh. Interesting. Simon, we got it. We can get to the Dumbat now. Get back here. All right. No problem. Oh, shit. I don't fucking trust something that's coming up. The legacy scan of me that was on the computer. What did you use it for? It's a template that has an intelligence pathwork already etched into the base. So, if I wanted to build an AI, I wouldn't have to reinvent a whole model. I would be able to focus on the things that the AI is to be used for. Is every AI self-aware? Do they also think they're Simon? What? No, Simon. Don't worry. It's not like we just put people into robots and machinery and let them run free. That'd be really cruel. It doesn't work like that. Or at least it didn't used to work like that. <laughs> Truly sentient machines thinking they are people is definitely new. But you kept them sentient for the Ark. Yes, and I basically had to invent the method. Hmm. There you are. Just warming up the Dunbat for us. It's been collecting dust for months, so it might need a minute. Okay, that's it. That's... Everything. Let's go ahead and... Huh. That's weird. Huh. Never mind. What do you need me to do? Head inside the dock. The Omnitool can open the door now. And get into the Dunbat. Then plug me in, and I'll take us into the Abyss. Sounds easy enough. Yeah, but it's not gonna be. Shit's gonna get fucked up. One of those weird fuckers from the basement is gonna be down there or some shit. Something's gonna happen, and it's gonna kill me. Fuck me, I'm a goose. Oh shit, I thought that was- oh. So where's the Dunbat? Hmm. All right then. So I'm I'm really nervous right now. I really am. Is this supposed to do something? Hmm. 
Hmm. Excelente. Catherine? Catherine, the Dunbat's fucked. Um, the situation is now Sir Fun. In case you're unfamiliar with that, Sir Fun is an acronym. Shit is really fucked up now. There are three such acronyms in order of severity. Snafu, Surfun, Fubar. Snafu, situation normal, all fucked up. Fubar, I think everybody knows what Fubar is. And then you have, you have some retards like Resident Evil 2 reimagining who sit there and say, snafu, well, for when something ends up, we got a snafu. Snafu means everything's running normal. That's what the situation, you might, so why is it all fucked up then? Because everything's always fucked up, that's the whole point. Everything's always fucked, but it's as fucked as it always is. So a snafu. That's the whole point if shit is really fucked up now. Because shit's always fucked, but sir fun means that shit's more fucked than it already was. And yes, shit's are, shit was already fucked here, so this whole place is just snafu. Back when, like, something can go foo bar, and then later on that foo bar becomes snafu, because it becomes normal. So what we have here is a sir fun. Oh, come on. Oh, do I have to, oh, I have to pull right up to the... That's alright. I feel like I'm in Metal Gear Solid right now. Fuck me. <laughs> that hurt like a bitch. I can turn my body. Yeah, this is like this is Metal Gear Solid, man. Plan B. This thing just saved, which means that shit's about to get more fucked again. Oh, fuck. Wait, are they in these vents with me? Please, for the love of fuck, tell me they're not. Please, for the love of absolute fuck. Please. For the love of all that's fucking holy. Well, not in here with me, but they're right outside this fucking vent door.
the fuck is that noise? Oh, it's that. Oh no, it's that. You know, between the Dunbat and Brandon, it seems like a lot of people don't like Catherine. Was she really bitchy back in her day? Because it seemed, because I felt like she was really passive. Catherine. Huh? Wait, this isn't. Oh no! Wow got to the Dunbat before we did. Am I right? No. Well, it was talking. That's rarely a good sign. Damn it. The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. There's gotta be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they well, didn't use the it. Dunbat, the only other way would be the Climber in Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the Abyss. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah, okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. All right, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the art here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the arc. You didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be? Well, Miss Catherine, like, I have a problem with this whole part of the plot in the first place, okay? I ain't opening that up. Um, also I have to. Okay, so like, the whole point, the whole thing we're doing right now, whether it's Theta or Omicron or whatever, the whole thing we're trying to do is we're trying to get the, we're, we're trying to get on the Ark in the first place, but then we're trying to get the Ark launched up. Where are we even trying to launch the Ark to? I, I don't even know. <laughs> you know what, you know what? I have a prediction actually based on that one facet of knowledge. Or, I guess, facet of ignorance maybe. Maybe I'm wrong, but as far as I know, there's no end game for the Ark. Meaning, the goal is to launch it, but then what? Does it land on some other planet? Whatever? I mean, I mean, I suppose it probably wouldn't matter because the game would end by then, but still, like, lore-wise, you figure they'd at least say something, right? Like, maybe they're putting it on Mars, or something else, or some other planet with... that's designated only by letters and numbers that's in a habitable zone in another solar system or galaxy or some shit. Just saying, man, there's plenty of those things. And not one, like, what is it, Kepler B-20 some bullshit? It's, it, it, it's a planet that has 500 miles an hour winds and rains glass sideways. Um, that's a real planet, by the way. What is it? It doesn't rain glass sideways. It, it rains glass, and then the 500 mile an hour winds pick up that glass as soon as it rains from the clouds. So... I mean, the whole, the whole fucking planet is basically... It, it would just shred the shit out of you. Because there's just flying glass everywhere. <laughs> no, but anyway, my point though was that... There's no real endgame for the Ark. That I know of. Which tells me something. And here's what it tells me. It tells me that the Ark... While the arc is in the main, while the arc is the main point of this, the the arc, what happens with it, is not important to the story, which means that the importance of gameplay ends with the arc being launched, or the arc might not even get launched. So here's my thinking. So, Catherine, it's Catherine and Simon. My thinking is that th they'll get to the Ark, I think. Now, I predict one of two endings here, straight up. Just based, based solely on the fact, because I'm, I'm inferencing a lot here. I'm, I'm, uh, 
but based solely on the fact that I don't know what we're even supposed to be doing with this arc. I, mean, I do know, but like specifically, the goal is you know to, to, to carry on humanity, but how are we doing that? Launching an armament arc, to where? Mars, even if it gets to Mars, how do the scans bring themselves about? Like, how do they, do, do, do they just birth themselves magically into robots that just go on the surface of Mars with nothing to do? Because Mars is a barren red planet with nothing to do. At least as far as entertainment and work goes. I mean, they've talked about sending human consciousness there, basically, wherever they're going, but nothing else. No crops, no seeds. Um, speaking of seeds, actually, fun fact. There's actually a vault, I think, in Europe somewhere. Um, I think it's in Europe. There's a vault that's full of seeds of like every type of crop on Earth. So that way, in the event of a catastrophic incident, like um, shit can be replanted, like, you know, tomatoes or corn or whatever. Shit can be replanted and then, you know. Um, we got plans, man. The, the, the Pentagon has a plan for a zombie apocalypse too. <laughs> But I think that I think that one's pretty well known. No, but like, there's no there's no in-depth strategy here, at least that I'm aware of. And I feel like at this point in the game, like the whole point of the game is on the arc. It's been on the arc for a while now. So I feel like at this point, they would have given some sort of insight as to what they're going to be doing with the arc. So I don't think that part of the arc even matters. So I don't think I don't think the writers bothered with that part of the story because that story doesn't matter. Because either these guys. Now here's the thing, I don't think these guys are going to get on the Ark at all. Although if they don't get on the Ark, it means the Ark's not going to launch. Okay, it might launch. But if it does, I don't think that these two are going to end up being on it at all. I th or, how about this, these two will attempt to get on the Ark. Or at least Simon will. Okay, put it this way, let me revise that. Simon will not get on the Ark, Catherine might. So, whether or not Catherine gets on the Ark though, I think that the Ark... Actually, no, the, the, the Ark will probably get launched to wherever it's going. Or maybe not. I keep, I keep just talking everywhere. I'm just, I'm, I know my thoughts are scatterbrained right now. Here's my prediction. One of two things is going to happen. One is that Catherine will get on the Ark, and then for some reason, Simon will not be able to get on the Ark. The Ark will launch, and Simon will just be stuck in the abyss. And then either the game will end there, or there will be some sort of mission to get back to this underwater research facility of Pathos 2. Although I don't see why that would happen, because it seems like that would be frivolous. So I feel like the story would just end there, with him just being fucked in the abyss. Just for a pointless... And he's, he's a robot with only a consciousness, too. So it would be a frivolous, perpetual existence. And he can't even die, because his suit is immune to pressure. So unless there's some sort of great white shark or something that wants to eat him as a machine, he's fucked for the rest of eternity. At least until the Earth is fucked. Well, the entire Earth is fucked. That would suck. That's a bleak as hell fucking ending. Or the second ending, which is actually equally as bleak another to think about it, is that neither of these two get on the Ark. The Ark doesn't even launch at all. And then... They both just end up stuck in the abyss. But at, le but at least... Actually, no, 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 no. I was about to say at least they have company, but no, 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 because Catherine only really exists on computers, aside from the Omni tool. So I don't think they would do that. You know, I think, I don't even think that anymore. Here's what I think. You know, that's my official prediction for the end of this whole game. That's my official prediction. Catherine will get on the Ark. Ark will launch. Simon, and I, I don't think that would be intentional. I think, I think that by, for some mistaken, like these guys make a mistake or something, kind of like with done that, and then Simon gets fucked in the abyss for the rest of however long. And then whatever's supposed to happen with the fucking arc happens with the fucking arc. 
That's my prediction. And then Catherine is good to go with her people. How they do their thing is how they do their thing. And apparently everyone's got a bone to pick with Catherine, so I feel like she would just be kind of... I feel like she would be alienated wherever they would end up, because there are a lot of people, based on, based on Brandon and Dunbat, there are a lot of people who do not like Catherine. So, Catherine's fucked, alienated, socially. And then, Simon's fucked, alienated, physically. Hmm. Or isolated. Damn. So basically, I think this game's ending is going to be bleak as hell. What the shit? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, I think I, I might have off-screened it, but dude, I actually had to throw an object for the first time in this game. Downstairs resetting the router. Documents. Oh, we're going to go into the climb. The elevator in Omicron, okay. But we're still in Theta. God damn it. My decision. I have decided to finalize the arc with the scans we have. I'm sorry for all of you who wanted to go but didn't get a chance to scan yourself before the project was put on hold. Okay, not gonna lie. If I was down here and the whole, th this whole shit happened, I wouldn't even care to have my scan put up there because that's not, tr that's not, first off, that's not true humanity, and second off, it wouldn't actually be me, so I wouldn't even care to have my fucking consciousness just put up there. You know, you know what is this facility even for? Like, th this whole consciousness thing started after the Earth got fucked by a comet. But that, but that means that this underwater research facility had to have been running and operational for some time before the comet struck. So what the fuck was this place for before the comet? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop thinking about shit like that. It's been two months since I've added a scan and I don't see how I'll ever be able to win back the support you all showed me when we started the project. I'm sorry. I never meant for anyone to take their lives. It was never my intention to fool anyone. I just wanted to save something. Oh, you know what? That's remorseful. You know what? I feel like that's why people don't fucking like Catherine. They blame her for the fact that people are killing themselves. They blame her idea. So this whole Project Arc shit... I, I know this has already been established and it's just now coming to me. But this whole, this whole Project Arc shit was Catherine's idea in the first place. And now people are fucking pissed off that it's going so sour. That's why people don't fucking like her. What's left? Apply interface modules to your art capsule. Ask permission from 4Q. Brief those guys. Take shuttle to Omicron. Pick up power suits. Ride the climber to the abyss. Regroup at Tau. Head to launch site. Load the bullet launch arc. So I'm guessing that's what's left for the rest of this fucking game. But then Simon's gonna be fucked. Arc locator. Fucking Tau still. What's it doing? Look on, huh? Oh, here we go. Another one of these. Alright, now with this new information. Recently it was decided that the Arc project would become Pathos 2's last official commitment. The staff has been urged to carry on with their duties despite Earth's catastrophic condition. Fuck that shit, I had to kill myself too, fuck. You know, that might be part of why people are killing themselves. Because, actually no, 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 we already know that, that it is because of what was the robot's name, Robin on the seabed. We already know why people are killing themselves. Because they believe that they are going to, they themselves are going to live on their consciousness outside of the thing. And their entire existence is fucked on Earth. Dude, this game is fucking dark. Dude, okay. I'll, I'll, you know, I'm gonna talk about this more in the review. Cause I'm gonna do a review. I do a review every time I end the game. But dude, this shit's dark. <laughs> I think the Ark Project is the most logical step towards saving mankind, and that we should spend as much time and resources as needed to complete it. Um. Here's my honest thoughts with you. 
saving like okay. <sighs> I don't really think that consciousness itself is life itself. I don't, per se. Um, so, no. I don't feel like this Project Dark thing is all about saving mankind. Because if all it is, is just brain scans into an AI, then that's no, that's almost no different from a fucking robot. You know, I'll say this, dude. This game gets a major plus one narrative-wise for me, two things. One, like as I've already stated earlier, for the plain simple fact that the catastrophic event was not caused by humanity's shittiness. Like, too many carbon whatever, the ozone layer or whatever. Um, it was caused by something completely external, a fucking comet. I like that. Kind of like how the fuck the dinosaurs. Secondly, secondly, I have never seen any media focus on this much as the main primary thing about consciousness itself. The only other game that might actually no no that's not even the focus. It's more like a backdrop, but. The Evil Within kind of plays this a little bit too, you know, people's consciousness being inside the machine and the Evil Within 2 as opposed to, but that was like the main point. This whole thing is about people's consciousness. And that is very, very interesting to me. I'll say this, I understand the way, the way human logic thinks. I took a psychology class. I don't remember a lot about the psychology class because most, like a lot of it was remember was the name what certain parts of the brain and shit are called and what they do and all that kind of shit and that just gets confusing after a while like the amygdala and the uh, glial cells which hold the brain together but this game dude i'll give it some plus some pluses for its narrative this game has a very good narrative I'm not gonna lie i'm gonna have to disagree sorry catherine <laughs> 